Hello everyone. So today we're going to be using the most useless attachments in Modern Warfare 3. So these are going to be attachments that either just straight up waste an attachment slot, or they're just a bad variation of some other attachment, or they're just a downgrade for your gun. Some of them are actually all three of them. So yeah, we're just going to be playing some games, and I have them on my weapons already, so I'll see y'all in game. Alright, we're in the middle of hardpoint. Literally the middle of it. But yeah, here's uh, my attachments. First up, we have this Jack Bullseye optic. This thing is honestly horrible. This might be the worst attachment in all of Call of Duty. I'll just use it a little bit and kind of show why it's bad and I think it should speak for itself. It already looks kind of horrible. I mean, look at that. I mean, look at that. Like, what is going on there? This is the only sight that gets in your way when you're firing. Like, I don't even know how that's possible. What's the point of that? Wow, I got a kill there. I mean, bro, do you see that? But yeah, next up we got this uh, CS15 Scarlet Box Laser. So what this is, it's a laser that the accuracy when you're shooting still is really good. But when you start moving, then it turns really bad. I'll try to demonstrate it a little bit. You see that? I mean, look at that. I, I hip fired that. That was kind of crazy. But if I try to shoot the same person moving, yeah, it did not go well. I'm going to try it again. He's going to come this way. Okay, never mind, bro. I'm just gonna get beamed by like five Overwatch helos. But yeah, when I'm moving, I guess if you're that close to someone, it just doesn't matter. But yeah, I mean, you can see I missed every shot on that guy. So yeah, it's just not good. Another thing about this laser is it also makes tax stance really accurate when you're standing still. But if you go into tax stance, it's not there. Like it's just there and then it magically knows you're going into tax stance. So it turns itself off to balance. The game but yeah i can demonstrate this so i'm standing still it's pretty good i don't even have a dot to aim with so i'm just kind of aiming from where i think the center of my screen is and i'm still being really accurate but when i start to move much worse especially that target you're not hitting it from a realism sense bro what is it what does it do like can your character see the infrared laser that it spits out specifically for tag stance or something like that like I know we had the crossover with the boys, so maybe we have like superpowers from that shit. I don't know. But yeah, another attachment that you might not have even noticed that I have on is this here, this tracer round ammunition. I purposely didn't even talk about this until just now. So I don't know if you even noticed I had this thing on, but it is tracer rounds. So when I'm shooting, let's see if you can notice. The Jack Bullseye does not help the visibility either at all. Like, yeah, can you notice? I mean, you can't even see the damn bullet with this Jack Bullseye. That's just another way for me to say this Jack Bullseye optic is horrible. But if you hip fire though, you can almost notice it. Like, do you see that? I mean, not really. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. No, you can't. But if you go in tax stance, you kind of can see it. Almost. Like, I still can't really see it. Like, what is the point of this? Yeah, and it's not even like you can choose a special color or anything either. Like, if you could do that, then that would be cool. But nope, that's restricted to bundles only. Let's be let's be so real they would never add something cool like that in the game when they could monetize it i feel like i'd be better off trying to use this the laser yeah i'm literally better off using the laser that if you stand still it makes you accurate than using these iron sights i want to try this laser out while i'm moving okay didn't hit a single shot okay nothing Like, holy shit, dude. Why would you use this? And the thing is about this laser is like, in what world do you want to be accurate in hip fire from a long range? Like, do you know what that's called? That's called aiming down the sights. Another thing that I think is so funny about this Jack Bullseye attachment here, if you read the description, low profile fiber optic iron sight. Fucking, this is just not low profile, dog. And it also says limited frame interface for a clear view of the target. The only thing that's clear is like all the polymer of this iron sight in your face. Yeah, let's try some uh, tax stance out. Cause this technically, I guess, might get you the most accurate tax stance if you built the gun correctly. But you have to literally stand still the whole time. 
it's like you just become a sentry gun and like bro the sentry gun's a kill streak <laughs> you're not trying to you're not supposed to become a sentry gun like literally this is sentry gun gameplay you all you need is an lmg with this laser what the fuck i thought that dude was running at me with the sentry gun to be honest but it was just the chainsaw and god forbid you start moving like oh my god I hit three bullets of that. Like, holy shit, what? What is that? Even when I, it's like standing still there, standing still there is such a stupid idea that it's getting me killed. I don't know why he was even running there because I'm not killing you. You could stand still and I'm not hitting you even if I'm aiming right at you. This is like one of the only attachments that even causes that. But yeah, next up though, the next attachment though, I have this shotgun on because first up we have these ballo shell attachments. So let me explain what this is. So basically what this ballo shell is, it's basically, for gameplay reasons, it's just a, a slug. It shoots one projectile, even though that's not what it is in real life or even in the description. The description of it is it's two metal balls tethered together. But in reality, what that means for the game is it's basically slug rounds that give you crippling power and wounding power, but they have less damage and slower bullet velocity. And I genuinely don't know why you would want this over a slug. Like, why would you want something that could wound people better rather than killing them better? But yeah, you can see all the stats here. If you compare the damage to a slug, I mean, look at that difference. Just on this very left column, look at the difference. It's crazy. The bullet velocity is almost twice as long, and the bullet velocity on slugs is already not good. But yeah, just to prove that this thing shoots one projectile and it's not, like, actually two, I'm moving side to side, I'm shooting kind of more at distance. You'd think that if this thing was actually two metal balls tied together, there'd be two projectiles, but no, there's one per every shot, it's the exact same as slugs. In fact, look at the shells that are coming out of this shotgun. Like, I'm, I'm putting blue in, right? You see that. Green is coming out. They didn't even change that slugs came out. But yeah, also, you might have noticed this next up. The last useless attachment that I have is this TPS Incendio Reflex. So this thing is literally, if you read the description of this thing, I think the description and then what it actually is, is just hilarious. Utilizing special imaging tech. This compact optic highlights the thermal signatures of targets while maintaining the clear sight picture of a standard optic. That sounds fire, right? But let's just go in the firing range and test this shit out. So, okay, aimed on sight. This is what it is. This is literally what it is. It's literally a thermal with a circle that has the thermal and the rest is clear. And the circle isn't even like a proper circle, bro. It's like a pixelated ass circle. I mean, I genuinely thought that this was like a, a visual bug when this thing just came out. But no, it's been like this for like a month or two. I genuinely don't know why you would choose this over any other normal thermal. I mean, choosing a thermal is already crazy enough. But if you want a thermal, why wouldn't you just go for something like, I don't know, this S SZ Hollow Therm? It's way more zoomed in. You can actually, if you have people in the corner of your vision, you can see them very clearly, which is like, to me, that's a really positive thing of a thermal that is just straight up taken away. And you can toggle this thermal on and off if you want to get a little bit more clear. So I don't know why you would ever use this. This is something that it's like you, you read the description and you're like, oh, this seems nice. And then you use it and you never use this shit again. All right, I joined in the middle of another game, bro. I've joined in the middle of like every game I've joined into. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to use this thing as intended. Let's see how it works. So trying to see people. Oh, I saw someone. I saw someone. The ballo rounds don't help. Look, holy shit, the ballo didn't even kill him there. Like, what? I can't name a situation where that would have been a more useful ammo type to have, bro. I literally hit him dead center with a ballo round. Still not a one hit. There's someone here? What the fuck? My game almost crashed climbing over that. Okay. And that was a hit marker with a ballo. Let's see if I can uh, use this though. 
You know what would be nice if I could look here and have the corner of this optic to show me if someone was going to peek that. Like, you just have to hope that they go in the center of your optic like that. That's a crazy hit marker, like with a slug that would not have happened. I feel like a lot of these, I'm getting hit markers just because it's a ballo and not a slug. Let's use this uh, optic a little bit more. I kind of miss it. I actually do feel like this laser is a detriment, though. Because anytime you hit fire, it's going to be active. It's not just when you're trying to stand still and use it, for example, or something. Like, anytime you move, you're going to be very inaccurate. It's just constantly a downgrade, basically. Okay. I mean, that was just a shot in the dark, bro. Literally, with this damn optic. Use the ball though. It worked because I was literally point blank, so I would hope it would work. So yeah, that's been the most useless attachments in Modern Warfare 3. I honestly think I would have performed better this video if I had no attachments on whatsoever versus these. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Be very curious if anyone's actually fans of these optics and like they're hating on me. Like someone's just a Jack Bullseye like fanatic and goes to every video hating on the Jack Bullseye and just hates on it like the Jack Bullseye Mafia or something. But yeah, I'll see you on the next one.